Hello and welcome back to Cabin Organic. Today we're going to share with you the story of how we set up our chicken coop. We started by choosing the location of where we wanted to put the shed that Brian's dad, Dale, was giving to us and that we were converting into a chicken coop. And we decided to put it just to the left into the trees a little of the greenhouse. Brian's dad, Dale, came in with his backhoe and started to clear a patch of land in amongst these trees. He also had hauled this shed that he was giving us on his trailer and brought it over and here it is waiting to be placed. We made a great big mess of fallen trees so that had to be cleaned up as well. And here you can see Grandma and Shayton watching from a safe distance. Chayton was two years old at the time and he had a ball just climbing through all of these fallen trees and branches and he especially loved the backhoe. In these next few shots you can see that we've got the shed in place and now Grandma and Grandpa are working on carefully taking the shingles off of the shed. And here's a few quick shots of the original interior of the shed. Some of the shingles were missing on the side of the shed, so Grandma and Grandpa took them all off and Grandpa, I think, reapplied some of that black weatherproofing paper and then put the shingles back on and we stole some from the back side. We ended up putting tin on the back side. A few more shots of the interior. Uh, we've got all of the junk and the shelves that were attached to the walls removed and there's some framing up and insulation and weatherproofing plastic. Grandpa also poured a thin layer of a concrete floor and as you can see we've scratched Chayton's name in it. Next the men got to work on the yard and we were able to salvage a lot of metal pipes that Grandpa had found and he welded together and made this wonderful frame for this chicken yard that wrapped around the back and one side of the chicken coop. And some of it was quite rusty but with a coat of black drum clad paint it looked as good as new. Grandpa had also found a bunch of this plastic corrugated sheeting that somebody had thrown in the garbage and he grabbed it and brought it over and we used it for the roof of our chicken yard. And yet another good salvage material, uh, Grandpa also uh, had found some of this fencing that nobody wanted anymore. And we had enough to wrap around the entire bottom of the yard and with a coat of black drum clad paint, again, it looks great. Next we got to work painting the shed red. Now this took a, a good week because of weather and rain, but we finally got the whole shed painted. At this point our chicks had arrived in the mail. Brian went to pick them up at the post office and we had a brooder box set up. I'll have a separate video for that. But uh, I just wanted to mention that our two-year-old Chayton just adored the chicks from the first moment he laid eyes on them. Once the chicks had outgrown the brooder box, we put them out into the coop and we had a heat lamp there and uh, Chayton spent a lot of time in the coop and in the yard just watching the chickens. He was absolutely fascinated with them. We had an old jungle gym that we weren't using anymore and it was starting to warp and break. So Brian chopped them up and we've now reused them in the chicken yard. Once the small yard was done, Dale, Brian's dad, had the brilliant idea of why not extend the chicken yard and make a larger yard behind the coop. And so he cleared some of the land again with the backhoe and you can see in these shots that he has dug 
uh, a trench all the way around the entire area of this yard with his backhoe about a foot and a half deep and that was where we're going to bury the fence. The men also put in some posts and then we wrapped two layers of stucco wire all the way around this huge yard. So it was buried 18 inches under the ground and then there was a second layer of wiring on top. So the fence is probably about seven feet high. And a few shots of the interior. We have three bars for roosts, wooden bars, and a droppings board right under it. And uh, then to the right of this, you'll see our nesting boxes. And once again, it was time to return to painting the rest of this shed red. And you can see our little boy Chayton right in there helping Daddy. And here's a few shots of Chayton and the chickens enjoying the big yard. We can't let our chickens free range, unfortunately, here at our place. Um, we're backing onto 150 acres of protected land, which we absolutely love, but it also means that we get some predators coming through quite regularly. In preparation for winter, Brian puts sheets of plastic all around the yard and that acts as a greenhouse throughout the winter. And it's lovely because while it's very cold outside, it's quite a few degrees warmer on the inside of this yard. So as you can see here, even though it is winter and cold, our little boy Chayton still comes out almost every single day. He loves to spend time with the chickens, he loves to feed the chickens and just be with them. You can see we are nearing the completion of this project. We still have to paint the bottom of the fencing black so that it'll blend in a bit more. But you can see here I've uh, mulched an area in front just to tidy it up. I've planted some Hascaps shrubs and added two planters, which I plant flowers in, uh, in the front just to give it a more finished look. Now just notice to the right of the chicken coop we have a white shed there and that was another shed that Brian's dad had given to us so that needed a bit of TLC. Chayton's sister Jenna was over for a few days and she volunteered to help and within a couple of days we had that shed painted and looking really good. Then next to that teal shed we acquired yet another shed this is actually an outhouse and it's made out of metal and uh, some neighbors, the Lake family, gave it to us after they had finished uh, building their house. So they passed it on to us and with a lick of paint it looked quite good. We used this metal shed for our feed storage. There's still a few more touch-ups to do here and there but we're really happy with how this project turned out. We love having chickens. They've really just added value to our lives. We love watching them, spending time with them. We love enjoying their eggs every day. They're just a, a joy to have around. And I now could not imagine life without chickens. I hope you enjoyed watching this video of how we set up our chicken coop. I know I watched quite a few YouTube videos before we started on our project. And hopefully this one will give you some fresh ideas and inspiration on your own project. Please subscribe for more videos by Cabin Organic.